This is Designing for the Sixth Extinction, which is a new work produced for this show, and it's exploring the relationship between biodiversity and conservation and synthetic biology. We imagine nature as this sort of pristine thing, and you know, we know that biodiversity is under threat. And this work actually explores, could we ever imagine or tolerate rewilding, so releasing animals into the wild to improve nature, but using synthetic organisms. So in this work, which is this sort of pristine forest, it's actually, if you look closely, you start to see that there's very unusual organisms in there, and each one has been designed to preserve biodiversity, almost like a companion species. And I've described them in terms of patent applications. So they're actually sort of machines, and the idea is that they operate in terms of enclosed technological ecosystems. They can only eat each other. They don't connect properly with nature itself. They're just there to preserve it. So the four organisms are a kind of mushroom that is designed to stop sudden oak death, which is a pathogenic infection in trees. They're slugs which are bioremediating, so they reduce acid in the soil. There's the autonomous seed disperser, which is a kind of porcupine-like creature which collects seeds in its spines. And then hidden in the trees, you see this sort of strange infection on the leaves, which is actually a biofilm that's trapping pollution and different virus particles. This would be, in this scenario, the outcome of an imagined political agreement where only organisms that, um, that are safe and don't interact with real nature are allowed to be released into the wild.